Chemical science is one of the fundamental building blocks in terms of tackling the challenges facing humankind, whether that be energy, clean water, pharma. Things are moving on all the time in terms of uh, science and chemical science in particular. I think there's a good sense of community within the RSC and being a member, uh, both in terms of sort of the national level, uh, particularly being able to get involved with, with the committees, but also at a local level where I've engaged quite a lot with the local section and I've been able to meet a whole range of different members that I wouldn't have already met. The sort of put support I've had from the Royal Society of Chemistry involves things like developing some of my, uh, my own skills, for instance. I've also had some support from the RSC uh, careers-wise and I've also been invited to various conferences and events. I was there in my capacity talking about BP's high-throughput experimentation work and I actually met some colleagues in BP who hadn't heard of this technique that we had in the company and we were able to have a conversation uh, around that. I wanted to sign up for Chartered Chemist because I, I, I thought it would be useful to have some sort of independent uh, validation, if you like, of my chemical sciences in the widest sense. I've learned lots of stuff and have lots of experience and skills and strengths from my time within BP, but for me this provided a, a sort of independent arbiter, if you like, of, of some of that experience. I also think that at some point, um, in conversations with more senior academic uh, people or people with senior, more senior qualifications, then the chartered chemistry status carries a bit of weight and, and helps in those conversations. I think it depends on the organisation and the circumstances of the individual concerned, but thinking about signing up for the Chartered Chemistry programme in your early stages of your career might open up some different avenues for you to explore and help you expand your skills in ways that maybe you hadn't thought of originally. So I definitely encourage people to think about looking at CCHEM uh, as early as makes sense in their career. I've made quite a few contacts through the Royal Society of Chemistry, both at national and local level. So I've even met colleagues in my own organisation who I didn't know beforehand when I was presenting, invited to present at an RSC conference. Um, I've also made a number of contacts through the lo local section um, where I've attended networking events. In fact, I was even chairman of the local section for a while and that gave me an opportunity to mix with quite a range of different chemists in the, the area around Hull and East Yorkshire. The connections that you can foster and uh, improve with the Royal Society of Chemistry across the world are quite important because you never know where an area of science that's relevant to your day job is going to crop up. BP views membership of the RSC quite favourably in fact and uh, I've actually been involved in helping one of the graduate schemes at BP gain accreditation with the RSC. I think the key membership benefits for people within BP who join the Royal Society of Chemistry, it gives them another lens through which to, to uh, learn about a wider diversity of chemistry and chemical sciences. I think in this day and age where careers don't tend to be a career for life with one organisation, it just gives uh, members an opportunity to understand more about the different chemical science opportunities that are out there.